Magandang buhay, students! I am your Sir Isagani. Welcome to our science channel. Today, we will learn about locating places on Earth using a coordinate system. But before we proceed, do not forget to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell for you to be updated for our new uploaded science video lessons. Before you locate the places on Earth, you should have a prior knowledge or learning in different parts and information of geographic coordinate system using a globe or a map. If you know all about this, it would be easy for you to describe the location of the place that you are going to find. We have different ways to locate places on Earth. But for this lesson, you will locate a place using the given coordinates or the given degrees and direction of the latitude and longitude. Let us know these steps one by one. For our first step, identify the two directions of the given coordinates and combine these directions to know the ordinal direction where it belongs to. For example, we have 15 degrees north latitude and 122 degrees east longitude. The two directions given to this example are the north and east. When we merge or combine these two directions, we will have a northeast direction. It means that the place we are looking for is located in the northeast part of the map. For our second step, identify the given degrees of latitude and longitude in a map. In our example, we have 15 degrees north latitude and 122 degrees east longitude. Since we are in the northeast part of the map, as you can see in the screen, we will look at the right side for the degrees of latitudes. So this is the 15 degrees north latitude. Next, let us look at the top of the map for the degrees of longitude. We knew that each latitude has an interval of 15 degrees. If it is the 105 degrees, okay, so if it is our 105 degrees, this one is the 120 degrees east longitude. So let us estimate or approximate rather that this part is the 122 degrees east longitude. So let us zoom this part. Okay. And for our third step, okay, at third and last step rather, identify the point where the latitudes and longitudes meet or intersect. In this step, you have already an idea on how to plot points since it was discussed during your previous grading period about the distance time graph. So it is the same way on what we will do here. So for our example, this is our 15 degrees north latitude and this is our 122 degrees east longitude. At this point, our lines are intersected and met. It means this is the place or country that we are looking for. And this is the and this is the Philippines. I 
I hope it is clear to all of you. What if you are given a certain country? Okay, you are given a certain country or place and you need to provide their coordinates or their degrees and directions of latitude and longitude. So this is the opposite way that we did a while ago. So for example, you need to provide the coordinates or the degrees and directions of Australia. What will you do? So here are the steps that we need to do or that you need to do. First, find the place first with the reference to the equator. Find out whether the place or country is north or south of the equator. For our example, we are looking for the Australia. If this is the equator, okay, and this is the place that we are looking for, Australia can be found below in the north or rather in the south of the equator. And we all knew from our previous lesson that latitudes describe the north and south of the, of the earth. So we have this information. Australia can be found at south latitude. That is for our first step. We are looking for the um, direction of this latitude, okay? So Australia can be found at the south latitude. For our second step, approximate the degree measure corresponding to the parallel of latitude that hits the place or country. So let us approximate that Australia hits from this degree. So this is the 13 degrees, okay? And up to this degree, which is 37 degrees, okay? And now we have an information of Australia can be found between 13 and 37 degrees south latitude. So we combine the information from or of our first and second steps. So let us hold this information for our latitude coordinate. For our third step, identify whether the place or country is east or west of the prime meridian. If this is our prime meridian and this is the place that we are looking for, Australia can be found in the east part of the prime meridian. And we all knew from our previous lesson that longitudes describe the east and west of the earth. So we have this information. Australia can be found at east longitude. For our fourth step, Approximate the degree measure corresponding to the meridian of longitude that hits the place. Let us approximate that Australia hits from this degree. This is 117 degrees, then up to 154 degrees. And now we have the information of Australia can be found between 117 degrees to or and 154 degrees east longitude. Again, Australia can be found between 117 degrees and 154 degrees east longitude. So we combine our information from our third and fourth steps. And for our last or fifth step, combine all the information or coordinates of both latitude and longitude. So on the world map, Australia lies or can be found between 13 and 37 degrees south latitude and between 117 and 154 degrees east longitude. As you observe, the coordinate or degree and direction of latitude 
should be written first, followed by the coordinate of longitude as it follows the standard rule of writing the coordinate system of a place or country. Comma should be placed between the coordinate of latitude and longitude. And these are the steps in locating countries or places on Earth using a coordinate system. I hope you have learned a lot from this lesson. If you want to know the different parts of a globe or a map and the different information about the geographic coordinate system, click this next videos for you to find out. Again, I am your Sir Isagani. Have a nice day. Stay safe and healthy. See you next time!